Greetings and salutations to my friends all around the world. This is Randy Jimmy James Bowles with another story for you. Before we get started, I need to apologize. I just got through making a video of a story about my Mexican doll. And so I went to a lot of trouble to put this huge mariachi sombrero and this beautiful hand-painted wooden Mexican plate on the wall behind me. And so I'm too lazy to change it. Plus, I think they're so beautiful, they belong in two stories. And anyway, this story is about bricks. And I like to do, you know, I like to combine the visual with the audio. And the thing is, or visual and auditory, that's how I should have said that. The thing is, I don't have any bricks in my apartment. You know, now when I was 18 or 20, I did because we all made bookcases and stereo stands out of bricks and boards. But, you know, I'm 74 now and I'm, I've am i aged out of the bricks and board stage. So since I don't have a load of bricks to show you, I'm going to go with the Mexican theme behind me and just beg your indulgence. I'm sorry that you can't see the bricks that I'm actually reading about. I'm reading this story, which I wrote myself. It's on my WordPress blog. Now, there's one way for you to get around not being able to see the bricks, the much-needed bricks, and that's for you to go to your favorite search engine and type in a fine load of bricks, a photo essay by Randy Bowles, B-O-W-L-E-S, WordPress. And that'll take you right to it if you're lucky. And you can look at the actual photos that I took that, that I refer to in this story. But I think the story stands on its own. And you can imagine in your head a pile of bricks. Anyone can do that. Okay, now the screen's going to get brighter. I'm going to move forward. You don't have to look at me. You can close your eyes for this one. There's nothing to see here. Go back to your homes. I'm going to read it to you right now. And I do hope you go to my blog site and look at the pictures of the bricks. And let's get started. So again, the name of the story is A Fine Load of Bricks, a photo essay. And right off the bat, you would see this beautiful, beautiful picture that I took of a pile of bricks. It's not a bad photo. Here we go. I like to go on long walks, mainly because I'm trying to lose a little weight. I did put on some COVID pounds. Employing Shanks Mare to get around my Seattle, Queen Anne Hill neighborhood is not only helping me become a more svelte 74-year-old. Boy, that's hard to say. 74-year-old. It also affords me a multitude of picture-taking opportunities. I live in a very beautiful neighborhood. I live in the worst house in the best neighborhood. Earlier today, I was thoroughly involved in taking photos of a pile of old bricks someone had carefully stacked up in front of their house. I like taking photos of geometrically shaped things. Now, I blogged about this in a post entitled, Everything is Geometry, Right? I find these bricks to be quite intriguing. They seem totally out of place, sitting on the parking strip near the street, but they're also quite decorative. Confession. This was not the first time I stopped to capture the load of bricks on film. I had done the same about two weeks previously, but when I encountered the bricks today, I thought, perhaps I should try for a better photo. As I took my last photo out of the corner of my eye, I spied an older gentleman, like me, approaching on the sidewalk. When he was, with, what it was within polite speaking distance, he said, with a sly grin on his countenance, Hey, you like these bricks, don't you? Don't I recall seeing you take photos of, of them a couple of weeks ago? Well, I just started to laugh, an embarrassed laugh, and I exclaimed, Hey, they're a fine load of bricks. But now you're going to think I'm compulsive. Honestly, I have a reason for coming back and taking more photos. It's not as wacky as it seems. 
Within seconds, the white-haired man responded, I know. You return periodically and take their photo. Then you go home and compare them to see whether or not they've moved at all. That really made me laugh. Even though I'm pretty much a shy, loner dude, I stuck out my hand and introduced myself. The man replied, saying his name was Bruno. He told me he was originally from Zimbabwe. I explained to Bruno that I was taking the photos because I blog, and every once in a while I post a photo essay featuring unusual geometric forms. I said I was just making sure I had the penultimate shot of the bricks for the next time I made one of those posts. I wanted the photo to be, in the words of Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead, exactly perfect. You know, folks, my story wasn't nearly as interesting as the one Bruno made up. After visiting a spell, we agreed to meet up again soon when I returned to take more photos of the super fine load of bricks because, well, in case I can do better. I'll say it again, I like Bruno's story a whole lot more than I did my own. So today when I got home, I looked at all the photos I'd taken of the bricks very carefully. And so far as I can say, they haven't moved an inch.